Gracie Cardos. If you want to get your face beaten and well smashed, your ass kicked and your arms broken, contact Carlos Gracie at this address. This delicately worded advertisement ran in a Brazilian newspaper during the mid-1920s. It came from Carlos Gracie, who had become the founder of the world-famous Gracie School of Jiu-Jitsu, considered by many to be one of the most comprehensive fighting systems ever developed. But the story really starts in the late 1800s in Japan, when a man called Mitsuyo Maeda, who would later become better known as Kant Koma, switched from learning classical jiu-jitsu to the developing art of judo, all the while observed by judo's founder, Jigoro Keino. Keino thought his 5 foot 6 inch, 150 pound student was good, in fact a virtual prodigy, although he was still a little too fond of drinking sake and indulging in fisticuffs in the street. He needs focus, a direction, considered Kano, who in 1904 thus ordered Maeda to go to America and start spreading the word about judo. Once in the United States, Maeda took on a series of challenges against sporting jocks, including a much larger man who had the bow-loosening title of The Butcher. But Maeda bested everyone he was put against, meeting raw brawn with superior technique and lightning speed. He then travelled extensively, including visiting Europe, and when it was when he was in Spain that he earned the nickname Count Coma, until finally he was requested by the Japanese government to help found a colony in North Brazil. He was greatly assisted in this matter by an official named Gastor Gracie, who also showed a lot of interest in Count Coma's martial art. In return for Gracie's help, however, therefore, Comma agreed to show Gracie's frail, 15-year-old son Carlos a little of what he knew. Even the descendants of Carlo Gracie themselves are a little unsure of exactly how long Carlos studied with Comma. Certainly it was for longer than two years, though no more than five. What is known is that Carlos studied everything from devastating elbow strikes and knee blows right through to a multitude of submission techniques when fighting went to ground a place where the Gracie brothers retain their superiority to this day. Age 19, fully trained and feeling rather confident, Carlos Gracie moved to Rio de Janeiro to teach and compete in martial arts. He said goodbye to his Japanese teacher, who left to embark on yet another bout of travelling and generally disappeared from this story. In Rio de Janeiro, Gracie opened his Academ Academia Gracie de Jitsu, somehow managing to attract students despite his fairly forceful way of advertising. He also shared what he knew of his brothers and, ultimately, with 11 of his 21 children. Between them, the Gracies pioneered and continued to promulgate a system of fighting to, that to this day dominates no-rules contests around the world. Jiu-Jitsu is not just about fighting, say the Gracies. It is a system of life, a way of respecting yourself and others, of creating a healthy mind and body. It advocates a Gracie diet with alcohol, tobacco and any kind of drug being strictly forbidden. Follow the Gracie style of Jiu-Jitsu, say today's Gracie, such as Carlos Jr., and you will be rewarded with a sense of well-being that is otherwise hard to attain in today's hectic world.